Scraps with Strings, where we share one of our favorite things each week. I'm Taylor. And I'm Emma. And it's my turn to go first this week. So um, today is the day after Valentine's Day. You're seeing this a couple days later. But uh, everybody knows that you head to the shop the day after the Valentine's Day to see if what you can get on sale. A lot of people get candy. I try not to do that. <laughs> what I did do was go to Target. And at Target, they have the dollar spot. And that's my favorite thing this week is the Target dollar spot. Oh! Because <laughs> you can find so much stuff for crafting there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, man, how many things have I just picked up that was like the perfect final piece for whatever I was making mm-hmm. that I got at the Target's dollar spot? I love it. Uh, the only thing I have to show for that is that I got some new planters. <laughs> this time so i didn't get anything crafty this time unless you count being a plant mom as being crafty but this was only a dollar see so (laughs) i count that as a win yeah i mean i think that especially the way that you are a plant mom i feel is pretty crafty (laughs) yeah i mean well there's a lot of crafting you can do for plants like macrame and stuff like that too so yeah they actually had um a plant macrame kit at the dollar spot today i did not buy it because i did not need one but um sometimes you can find little crafting kits (laughs) i we are not technically officially but we're like this close to getting our house Yes. And I will have so many plants hanging from the ceiling. Yes. <laughs> so maybe I should stop by. Yes, you should, because they have the, some really cute hanging planters as well. Ooh, so okay. what's your thing this week? Um, so um, I don't know if you can guess what my thing might be. <laughs> <laughs> I finished it! Yay! <laughs> and um, so my thing this week is obviously related to this, but it is actually misreading a pattern. Yay! <laughs> Specifically, obviously, misreading a, a pattern to your own benefit. Because in this yes. case, I misread the pattern for this shawl um, because I was reading the pattern um, for the large, the larger size, which is a third larger than what I was already making. No. So I would have needed an entire third skein of yarn um, to be able to make that larger size. Yeah. Um, but I had been reading through it and, um, just kind of, cause you, you know, you skim and you go to the end of the pattern, like, cause I wanted, um, the Stephen West pattern, at least this one, I assume he does it on all of them. They always have like those stitch counts quite frequently. Yeah, he does. So you can keep track of how many stitches you've got going on. And so I was going to the end of that stitch count because... I get to look at that stitch count because I was, like, running out of room on my needles. I was like, there's no way that I'm going to have enough needle spit. Like, even on my 40-inch cord, it was... I don't know how I did that. No. (laughs) (laughs) But, so it was something like 530, so, I mean, like... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I don't... I wasn't sure that I was going to fit it. Um, But then I finished the I think it was either the second or the third page of the pattern Mm -hmm. and I switched to the next page and I was um skimming through the next couple lines of instructions because it was like it I mean it was pretty easy but I always like to check and make sure and then it said for small size go uh skip to finishing and I was like wait what (laughs) (laughs) so I I had to like go back and make sure that I was indeed knitting the small size because there was a little bit of confusion because there was like a worsted weight version you could do a large size and a small size yeah um that being said the small size is not small no (laughs) no they never are with Steven it feels wrong to just call him Steven I know you can't do that (laughs) Steven West yeah that's his name that's his first name (laughs) Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm all, I finished it. I'll see if I can. I mean, it's huge. Are, are you going to take pattern pictures? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, put one in here. Yeah. Or at the end of the episode. You could. But I might not, I might not get around to doing the pattern pictures for a while. They'll so. be on your Ravelry, right? Yes, that's so true. So there you go. But what little bits I can get. And I definitely made the right choice with this pattern and this yarn. Mm-hmm. Because the eyelets came through just as much as I was hoping. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. It's very nice. I like it a lot. I would not wear it, but it's definitely something that is so you, you're going to get a hell of a lot of wear out of that thing. I will. I I really, I really will. It's going to be perfect. (laughs) 
<laughs> all right, Taylor, where can they find you? Um, you can find me at all the links down below, but chiefly at catsockfibers.com. Um, thank you to everybody who participated in the yarn love sale. Um, looking forward to seeing a lot of you at my shows, which are all listed on catsockfibers.com, so you can see a schedule of when I will be where. Where can they find you? Um, primarily, you can find me on Instagram at Emmy Lunitz, but all of the links are down below. Woo! All right, Bye, guys. we'll see you guys next time. Bye!